when you left. Yes, she did. The check bounced. It didn't. <laughs> I'll murder Everard. <laughs> don't worry yourself about that. <laughs> but, but you know, the thing is, you know, Nolly, I call her Nolly, you see, because, you know, in the profession, we all have nicknames. You know, the, actually, they're not nicknames, they're affectionate names, you know. And Noel Gordon is known to us all as Nolly. Is that so? What they call me, I daren't tell you, but still. <laughs> You can call me Nolly if I can call you Lau. Lau? That's, uh, that's your favourite pet name, I hear. Lau. Yeah, well, some call me Laz. Clues calls me Sir Lawrence. <laughs> he knows royalty, but I tell you this. <laughs> but you see, uh, Nolly, uh, you've been in Crossroads now for eight years, haven't you? Eight years in eight, October. Oh, yeah. my. Is that a long time? Eight years in Crossroads. Isn't that marvellous, ladies and gentlemen? Isn't it wonderful? <laughs> You see, actually, Nolly has been in the business now, like myself, about 95 years. What everyone says, yeah. but I, I'd, I'd like to show you, you don't know about this, but I, I got myself. Could, could I have a I'd like to see this. Could we have a close-up? Which camera? Could we have a close-up on that, could we? <laughs> That's Noel God at the age of two, ladies and gentlemen. Isn't that marvellous? <laughs> Can you see that? You didn't know I had that. Where did you get? I know. I know a lot. I know a lot about you. I know a lot about you, <laughs> Nolly Gordon. <laughs> and then, of course, you've done many musical comedies that people don't know about. You know, I know that you've done lots of musical comedies. What, what, what was it, Brigadoon? That Brigadoon. Was, that was a lovely one. Oh, yeah. My favourite show. Was it really? Yeah. And then I saw you. In Call Me Madam. That's right. That's right. That's right. I love that being Nolly. Well, you said we've been at it 95 years, darling. I should think that must be about 70 years ago. <laughs> hey, listen to me, something. Do you, you get a lot of fan mail, don't you? Yes, I do. Would you like to hear a fan letter that I got a couple of weeks ago? I would, yes. And it's genuine, anonymous. It says... <laughs> we think it's strange for you at your age to still be on television. We remember you 50 years ago with Victoria Carmen at the Alex, along with Georgie Wood. You must be 70 at least and still performing well. This is This is marvellous because at the bottom it says here, Carry on as long as you can. <laughs> oh, that's absolutely marvellous. Isn't it true? Yeah, I know, true. I mean, I have letters the same, you know. <laughs> uh, true. Uh, an old man wrote to me and said he remembers me with Florence Nightingale. <laughs> Going over to that thing. But, Nolly, in Call Me Madam, there's that marvellous duet, wasn't it? What was it called? Uh, I hear singing and there's no one there. That's right, yes. Well, now, do you know... I've always wanted to sing that duet. Now, isn't that strange? Haven't you ever been allowed to sing it? Nobody's ever asked me. I said to Flash Clues once, may I sing? <laughs> He's up there watching, you know. I said, may I sing on the programme uh, something from musical comedy? I mean, I asked John Hanson, you see, but, you know, he said no. No. So you well, asked Would you me. like to sing? I'd love to. With me, as a duet? I'd love to. Well, now, which bit would you like to sing? Which bit have you got? <laughs> Just like the ring I've lost. <laughs> You're doing very well, dear. Now, uh... I tell you what, I think, if you don't mind me, I'm crying. Uh, no, 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 you're all right, it's, it's all right. No, you... uh, it's a little bit easier, if you don't mind me saying so. I don't mind at if all. If you sing the sort of first a bit, and then I join in with a... <laughs> and later on. <laughs> I don't know what you mean when you go... <laughs> well, it goes home and you start off... I hear singing and there's no one there, and I go, Ooh. You'll see, you'll see. I wish I'd never have asked. <laughs> well, if you think I'm going to be all right, we'll do it. I should. Well, now, listen, um, ask me if you can busk it. Aren't you speaking? Well, not, I mean, we're all right now. We're not as bad as we were last week, but we're not really, you know, as you might say that. Like <laughs> Jack, could you bust the duet? <laughs> Thank you.
I hear singing and there's no one there. You feel very strange but nice. Jack, but Jack, Jack. Look. <laughs> Larry, dear, that is the difficulty. I know. See. You're singing my bit now. I, I sort of You've... wafted over, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know I've got ever sing here, do I mustn't do that, must I? No. <coughs> would you like to turn it round the other way and you can do the her-her bit? Well, OK. Ask Shall it. we try it again, please, Jack? <laughs> you don't need analyzing, no but it's not so surprising. I, I smell blossoms, but blossoms the, trees the trees are there. Are there. <laughs> My goodness me. Well, now, that was absolutely marvellous. How I got through it, I shall never know. <laughs> uh, if I live to be 96, that was absolutely marvellous. But now, Nolly, it's my honour and privilege to make a presentation for your wonderful work in Crossroads. It's the TV Times Award for the TV personality of 1972. Oh, bless How about you. That? Welcome back to uh, Shut That Door. And this is the part of the program which is entitled Get It Off Your Chest. <laughs> this is for Everard. This is for Everard, but he's not here. We've got Everard Farquhar Harson. <laughs> care of Mr. Larry Grayson. And this has come all the way from Australia. Isn't that marvellous? It says. Dear Everard, this is your old cobber from down under. <laughs> I've been down to the billabong. I've been down to the billabong three days on the run without success. As you know, the emu only mates once every nine years, so you'll realise that your request for a tape recording of its mating call will need a lot of patience. It has built its nest in the billabong and sits on it all day. With my constant visits to the billabong, the emu and I have become good friends and I will bend over backwards. <laughs> Seems a nice boy, doesn't he? <laughs> I will bend over backwards to get you a recording of its mating call. Call your old friend, your old friend and cover, Rod Hull. Now, isn't that marvellous to think that? He's Take... Would you like to take a seat and give him a perch? Very much. Yeah. Hate <laughs> now, um... <laughs> well, I'm very, um... 
I'm... <laughs> What's it doing for Christmas? <laughs> uh, well, I, I'm, I'm, I'm never so sorry to have to... <laughs> What's it doing? I'm sorry, but I'm looking for your friend Everard, actually. Has he got foul pairs? No. <laughs> <laughs> My heart's going like 50 to the dust. It tells me, no, I, I'm, I'm ever, will you keep it still? I'm, I was going to say, I'm going to keep still. It's got very sad eyes, hasn't it? Very sad. Looks like Colin Clues when he auditioned me for Saturday Variety. Did you say Colin Clues? Yes, Colin Clues. Because he, he, would, he would like to meet Colin Clues. So yes. Because he, he, he wants to get in, into show business. Does he really? He does impressions. What are? Do your impression. It is impression of a parrot. Flash <laughs> <laughs> would like that. Would he? Yes, he'd love Who that. Is <laughs> Norman Collins. Oh, yes. I bet he's a good watchdog, isn't he? What? He certainly is. He sleeps with one eye open. Does he really? Yes. So does Everard. <laughs> he seems, um, he seems very affectionate, Rod. Oh, he's very nice. Yes, he seems very affectionate. Once you get to know him, he's quite nice. Yes, I'm sure he is. Just stroke him. Now, look, you see, look, just stroke him. Yeah. yeah look. Who's a you... pretty emu? Yes. See, you can stroke him if you like. Do, do you think... <laughs> Do you, do, you, do you, I mean, actually, you say, well, listen, let me just see. <laughs> be still. Give him a stroke. Silly bird. No, be sweet. There you are, you see? Oh, yeah. He's quite nice, isn't he, once yeah, you get yeah. to know him? Hello. Look, look. look. He, he likes you, doesn't he? Look. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, and well, then. Oh, is this when he's not so bad after all, is it? <laughs> I think everyone's glad he's not here. Oh, well. Well, what are we going to do about the mating call? Well, oh, indeed. Yeah. Ah. You see, well, was... have you got it? What's that you got round you? Glad you asked me. I thought you wouldn't notice that. Well, I did. That, that is my cassette tape recorder that I get okay. mating calls from. Do, oh, do, really? Yes, yes. Well, could you record yes, I thought, Flash I mean, Jack, eh? <laughs> They only mate once every nine years, you see. The what? They mate once every nine years. Is that all? And he's 27. Really? And he's yet to start. Yeah. So, oh. you see, so the urge is there, you see. And we're about to get Yeah. The... Oh, Fancy I... him mating every nine years. Yes, no. <laughs> no, Slack Alice will be very interested in that. <laughs> Turn this on. You, you turn... Now, you be quiet. Now, you make a noise like you haven't had a mate for, for 27 years. <laughs> right. You want me to make a call, a mate call, like I haven't had a mate for 27 years? Test your memory. Ah! No, no I'll tell you, you hold the microphone then, and, and, and I'll switch it on, ready? Now, you put the microphone near his beak. We'll, we'll keep it well back then. Yes, I'll hold it. Fancy out of twit. Yes. Ah! Get him off. Oh, 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 oh,
call. The call. I just want to die. Well, I'd love to stuff that bird, I would. No help. Well, if I've got the breath left, I'm, uh, I'm going to sing my my latest record, they say it's my last one as well. <laughs> and it's, and more feathers. <laughs> and it's called Shut That Door. Should we do it? <laughs> shut that door, shut that door, it's freezing cold in here. Shut that door, shut that door, I'm feeling rather queer. Haven't felt myself all day, so I've been all alone. Got laryngitis, my throat was very sore. Went to see my doctor, his wife answered the door. I whispered, is the doctor in my voice was very hoarse. She whispered, no one pulled me in and promptly shut that door. Shut that door, shut that door, it's freezing cold in here. Shut that door, shut that door, I'm feeling rather queer. Haven't felt myself all day, cause I've been all alone. So come inside and shut that door and make yourself at home. I'm warm. Got to lie down after this. Feeling ill the other night, I dreamt I went to heaven. Joined the queue at the pearly gates, it stretched from here to Devon. St. Peter called out, hurry inside, there's room for just one more. Then realized I was booked below and promptly shut that door. Shut that door, shut that door, it's freezing cold in here. Shut that door, shut that door, I'm feeling rather queer. Haven't felt myself all day, cause I've been all alone. So come inside and shut that door and make yourself at home. gentlemen thank you thank you Noel Gordon thank you Rod Hull thank you Jack Pollan and the orchestra thank all of you at home for looking in and all you people for being here I'll see you next week at the same time thank you very much I love you very much and good night and God bless and shut that door Bye.